We meet this morning to declare war on breast cancer, a war in which there can be no substitute for victory. I see tears in your eyes. I know this is an emotional day for you. If I could spare anyone that kind of pain, it makes a difference. Yes, it does. Do you know that every year in this nation, 50,000 women die of breast cancer? We decided during Breast Cancer Awareness Month um, this past year to do a whole show on breast cancer awareness. It did save a life, the life of Patricia White Gardner. You said what? You wrote us with a wonderful... <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. Uh, what happened? How did that show touch your life? Okay, as a rule, I don't do the breast exams, and just that particular night, I was laying there in the bed, and your show came on. So I was watching it, and I did the exam. And uh, I thought, I felt something, I said, no. <laughs> and so my sister's a nurse. So I rolled over, and I picked up the phone. Now, this is like 12 o'clock in Dallas, because that's what time you come on. And I called her, and I said, I think I found something. And if it hadn't been for your show, then I know for a fact that I would have never, ever discovered it until perhaps I'd gone back in for my routine mammogram or something like that. And I don't know if it would have been too late or later, mm -hmm. but they caught it in early, it was an early detention, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I think it was done bless by your show. Your heart. Bless your heart. Oh, bless your heart. That's your sister. Oh, God. Well, my best friend, my best friend, which is B. Garrett, told me, well, since you've discovered it, through Rolanda's show, that you should call her or write her and let her know. And I said, oh, nah, nah, I want you to do that. You were the reason we did that show, <laughs> you and so many other women. And I appreciate that, because sometimes you wonder, you know, are we making a difference? Can we touch a life? Even with the ratings aren't through the roof, we can still make a difference. Well, you I surely thank you. did. Thank you. And thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> I would tell you, that show got me to go in and get a mammogram, too. I was scared, but I did. You got a mammogram, too, after watching I sure it? did. That's right. That's what we got to do. Ladies, we got to take care of ourselves. Um, yes, ma'am. Stand up, please. The best part about Pat is she does get the mammograms. It was your show that detected the early knot. It wasn't the mammogram. The mammogram did not show it. Mm -hmm. yeah, but we showed how to do the, the, the personal breast exam. breast exam. Absolutely. But one question for you before we take a break. How long would you wait for somebody to pop the question? Well, that's what we ask on a show we called Marry Me or Else. And we asked this one woman who had waited 10 years what she would do. She said her boyfriend would never ask her to marry her, so she decided to come on our show, and she took matters into her own hands. So, Patty, how serious were you about that I'll take you down there and marry you today action? Very serious. How serious? Oh, oh, for you. <laughs> Whoa! your hand today <laughs> will you marry me and be my husband you don't get it if you don't say yes <laughs> Yes, I'll be your husband. 